Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Madeline Milligan. And I'm Megan Milligan. And you guys are twins. Yeah, yep, we're, we're twins. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, we do not have a secret twin language. I am the oldest by two minutes. It means all the difference to her. <laughs> the best part of being a twin, I think probably uh, because of the fact that we've grown up at the same time together, we understand each other a little bit better than some other sibling relationships might. What is it like having twin siblings? That really depends what day it is. <laughs> It's very interesting to say the least. I think the worst part about being a twin is, well, one of the worst things would probably be everybody continuously saying, you look so alike, yeah. because you get that all the time. And you're like, I am an individual and she's an individual. There are some differences, so. Well, just asking us stereotypical twin questions like, which one of you is older, obviously, then do you guys have a secret language, or which one of you is the evil twin? I think both of us, at least once in our time, has been labeled the evil twin. <laughs> it used to be more common when we were little. So, do you guys think you look alike? Not at all. No. We look similar in some aspects, but I think there's enough about each of us that there's definitely some pretty big differences. Do people get you confused often? Sometimes. I mean, most people either know us well enough that they know which one is which, or people have worked with one of us enough to know, oh, that's not the twin that I've worked with, but um, sometimes they still switch us up. So is it annoying to you guys when people get you confused or can't tell you apart? If they're doing it on purpose and they know that you know, that they know that you are like, like she's not and I'm Megan and they still do it anyway. It can just, sometimes it's like, okay, enough's enough. We've already gone through that whole joke, just drop it. In what ways are you guys similar? Well, we like a lot of the same things, like we like a lot of shows, books, music, just little things like that. Even though we share some of the same interests, one of us will go a little deeper into one interest more than another. So sometimes we're very individualistic in like, in the things that we're into. Fortunately, they're sort of opposite personalities. I'm definitely more introverted than she is. She tends to be like better in crowds and group situations. Megan obviously is more extroverted, which when she's in the same spot with Madeline can very definitely show the contrast between the two of them and Madeline is more introverted. So that is probably one of the most obvious differences. Um, Megan is shorter. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, fairly obvious amount, and I, I have to say that's probably one of the most obvious differences between the two. I mean, other than that, I mean, they dress differently and they talk differently too, but there's... I still think there's a lot more similarities than differences. When bar no, when borders used to oh, be no. around. I'm not sure this one. No, let's not do this it's one. It's better than the other one. <laughs> let's, anyway, let's, please, let's, no. What's the best part of having twin siblings? Hmm. Well, their schedules are different, so even when one of them is gone, there's still one to mess around with. That would definitely be it, I think. That'd be the only thing, actually. Probably not, but... <laughs> There's probably another one somewhere. Your mother's gonna I would just see have this. to think. You're uh, gonna be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so are you guys happy that you're identical twins versus fraternal? Well, actually, we don't know which type we are yet. 
Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We haven't taken the test yet. For all we know, right now, we could be identical. We could be fraternal. So I think I'd be surprised if we were identical because I mean, fraternal would make sense. I mean, we look different from each other, and I could see that being a little bit more. I don't know, reasonable or anything like that, but if it was identical, then that would be kind of a bit of a shock. Yeah, because I mean, other people who like, some groups of friends who see only one of us and then the other comes in, some, quite a few of them will be like, oh, it's like a mirror image, but I personally wouldn't be surprised if we turned out as fraternal. I would be surprised if we were identical because I don't think we're as identical as they come. They tend to do things as their own person more than you'd expect of very similar twins. Like they're very singular people by themselves. So it's, there aren't like a whole lot of similarities since they're even though they're quite similar, very often they're still their own person and they're different from each other. It seems to me lots of people think it's all lollipops and rainbows. It's like, we're best friends. We like everything. We do everything together. We <laughs> dress the same way. And like, no, you were just born at the same, on the same day. You might, you might like the same things. You might have the same friends, but first and foremost, your siblings, so it's not always a best friend situation, but I definitely say that uh, we definitely have a different connection, a closer connection than like, you know, regular siblings. Well, and it's like, the thing is, it's like what Melon said, some people think having a twin would just be like, it's the most incredible thing ever. Really, it's just, it's kind of like the same thing as breathing. It just is. That's the way it's always been. And you can't really imagine it being anything different. I mean, it has its fantastical moments, but it's what fantastical moments? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have I been missing when these fantastical moments have happened? I don't know. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> the next time there's a fantastical moment, let me know. Okay. <laughs>